We know that our universe is filled with a stunning variety of galaxies. From spirals to ring galaxies to star-studded loops, the list is almost endless. When galaxies are within a few million light years, they are thought to interact with each other via gravity. Galaxies which are further away than this should have no effect on each other. A recent study published in the Astrophysical Journal found that hundreds of galaxies were rotating in exactly the same way, despite being millions of light years apart. But could this in fact be exactly what we would expect if they are connected via intergalactic Birkeland currents? Scientists believe these discoveries hint at what they term the enigmatic influence of so-called large-scale structures. They believe these structures are made of hydrogen gas and dark matter and take the form of filaments, sheets and knots that link galaxies in vast networks called the cosmic web. In the mainstream concept, galaxies are formed gravitationally and tend to form in clusters of galaxies which are bound to each other. These clusters can then group together into even larger structures called superclusters. We are part of the Virgo supercluster, which is thought to contain over a thousand galaxies. It is believed that when these galaxies are in close proximity, they can affect their shape and spin. In this new report, they discovered galaxies which were rotating in sync with galaxies which were many tens of millions of light years apart. The lead scientist commented that this discovery is quite new and unexpected. I have never seen any previous report of observations or any predictions from numerical simulations exactly related to this phenomena. They observed nearly 500 galaxies within 400 million light years from Earth and noticed that many of the ones rotating in one direction towards Earth had neighbours that were moving towards Earth and rotating in the same direction while those that were rotating in the opposite direction had neighbours moving away from Earth. They suggest that the synchronised galaxies may be embedded along the same large-scale structures, which is very slowly rotating in a counterclockwise direction. They believe that this may account for a preference in rotation in the galaxies that they observe. But this is not the only case of strange transgalactic synchronisation. In 2014, scientists observed a curious alignment in a pair of quasars. They observed over 100 quasars and they discovered that 19 of these quasars had their rotation axes exactly parallel to each other. And this was one of the first pieces of evidence that large-scale structures in the universe influence the dynamics of galaxies. And this poses a real threat to mainstream cosmology as these synchronised galaxies pose a huge problem to one of the core principles, that the universe is uniform and homogeneous at extremely large scales. Add into this the strange way that dwarf galaxies can become aligned to host galaxies, and initially this was viewed as an oddity only of the Milky Way. But this was blown out of the water when they discovered the same phenomena around the Centaurus A galaxy. Now cosmology is in a pickle, but their refusal to look outside the box is blinding them. In an electric and plasma universe, these are exactly the things that we would predict. Galaxies are formed through large intergalactic Birkeland currents. They form very similar to how we see stars forming, like pearls on a necklace. The Birkeland currents crisscross throughout the universe. The current will more than likely travel in one direction and therefore as a galaxy forms this flow will dictate the direction of rotation. It is therefore quite expected to see galaxies rotating in sync along a similar path and equally unsurprising that when we look behind us we see galaxies rotating in the other direction as this is just the continuation of the same Birkeland current. We have seen examples of connections between galaxies in previous videos. And when we look at the quasar synchronization, this too should come as no surprise. My belief is that these form out of events that occur within an active galaxy and would therefore end up with similar rotation. 
Sadly, these studies did not compare the rotation to nearby galaxies in the field of view, as they considered the extreme high redshift to mean the quasars were much further than I believe that they actually are. This process of quasar ejection and alignment also neatly ties in with the observation that dwarf galaxies become aligned as they are simply quasars which have been ejected from a galaxy which over time calm down to become a more normal companion. These would therefore have similar orientation and spin due to this effect. There is a real opportunity for the Electric Universe and the Plasma Universe scientists to use this as an opportunity to make some explicit predictions document them and share them. Mainstream cosmology is heading for a big rethink. These large-scale structures shouldn't be there in their models. The only way to make them appear is using dark matter, which remains as elusive as ever. We have an opportunity to attempt to steer this conversation, but that requires a platform that allows this dialogue through predictions, evidence and documentation. Now there is a big question as to whether they will even engage in a dialogue, but I certainly see that we have predictions and we have evidence. It is the latter that has always concerned me. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.